My parents had always been Catholics, and on that account had suffered much at the hands of an heretical government. I was only a boy of five, and my brother not much more, when we were taken away from my home and placed in a strange house among heretics. It was a time my father and two other gentlemen were, impr were imprisoned in the Tower of London because they had plotted to rescue Mary, Queen of Scots, and restore her to the throne. She was then in prison about two miles from us in Derbyshire. Footnote. On the occasion of James I confirming her a knighthood on his elder brother Thomas at York in 1603, Gerard wrote, that was to him no advancement whose ancestors had been so for 16 generations. The family came originally from Kingsley, Cheshire, and between 1330 and 1340 entered into the possession of Bryn, uh, Gerard's ancestral home about five miles south of Wigan, when Joan, heiress of Thomas de Bernal, married William Gerard of Kingsley. A description of Bryn Hall, as it stood in ruins about 150 years ago, is given in Bain's History of Lancashire. It was probably not here, but at that wall, Derbyshire, the house of his mother, Elizabeth Port, heiress of Sir John Port, that Gerard was born on October 4th, 1564. His father, Sir Thomas Gerard, had been knighted in 1553 and was Sheriff of Lancashire in 1558. Like his son John, he appears to have been an adventurous and romantic character. The enterprise to rescue Mary, Queen of Scots, when she was imprisoned at Tutbury, Staffordshire, a few miles from Etwall, and take her to the Isle of Man is the subject of many papers in the Hatfield Manuscript. The beginning of the plot can be traced to the year 1569, when Gerard was five years old, though it was not till 1571 that his father was imprisoned in the tower. On his release in 1573, Sir Thomas Gerard took his children back to Bryn. The price he paid for freedom was the enforced sale of his manor of Bromley to his cousin, Sir Gilbert Gerard, the Attorney General. From August 1586 to October 1588, Sir Thomas was again in prison for supposed complicity in the Babington plot, and on his release he seemed to have given up the practice of his faith, though he returned to it before his death in 1601. 